Hey guys, Lizardman870 back again. <clears throat> Here is the uh, video of the Bugatti Veyron. Veyron? I, yeah, it's Veyron. <coughs> and we're just now starting, I think. The camera, let me check and see how this looks. Okay, yes, the camera is crooked. Hold on, I'll fix it. Okay. Well, duck under the camera here. Okay. So, um, we're starting right now. And I'm going to put it in reverse. This is the hot lap feature. And this, I hit the wall there on purpose so I can show you this re re blah blah blah, rewind function if you've never played uh, Forza Motorsports 4. Today is still November 8th, um, depending on what video you're watching first with this Bugatti, uh, my previous video that I uploaded, um, it just finished up actually processing it, and it's now up, and it's about 5.30 Eastern Time, so that video's up. And if you're watching that first, then you saw the track that I race the Bugatti on. This is the track that I use with any car. And I'm trying not to spin my tires much. That, uh, this track is a huge straightaway. You can barely see it down there at the end of it. I don't think the camera can, though. And the trick is that if you are, like, on the racing track, this is the test track. It's a pure straight. So there's no problem with uh, turning. But two things. One, if you are going to turn, don't have the gas down as you go into it. Start braking before you go into it, and as you're in it, don't do anything. Let off the brakes, but don't hit the gas. Also, if you are going into a turn, don't slam on the brakes. Just gently hit the uh, trigger on your Xbox controller. So, I don't know what system you're using, but uh, I'm using Xbox, which is brilliant. So, as you can see down there, we've got our gears and our RPMs. There is an actually, yeah, you can see the engine there in the middle. Uh, right above that uh, the Bugatti sign and the uh, brake light, the bre brake light strip is a airfoil. Um, maybe you can see it from here. Yeah, you can see that little crack right between, that, like, there's, after you go past those uh, silver pieces, there's that crack there right in the middle of that black piece. The part that's closest to the back of the car is what pops up at about 125, 130 miles an hour, so we'll s you can watch it here. Three, two, one. Oh, and by the way, when you start driving, gently hit the gas. And what I do here, I'll just show you real quick. How you can see the rims here, and then when they do that, and you can't.
can't see him is when, well, that's kind of my indication of, is kind of my indication of when the best time is to fully put your foot down, or in this case your hand, or fi uh, not hand, finger. Keep rewinding here until I get this. So hold on. Okay, so now that I got that fixed, my um, tailpipe was. I had hit the wall there and it messed up. I gotta have the car perfect. Everybody knows that a Bugatti cannot be damaged. Period. The and I forget that the way that you rewind, it stays like that until you resume. So. I kept thinking that it was still damaged, and I was like, didn't I only hit the wall once? Well, yes. So, since I'm in reverse, I'm going to hit X. Back up a little bit. Ooh, that's close. So, count down in three, two, one. Tell you with the airfoil. Okay, it's 140 miles an hour that that airfoil right there comes up. Now watch it as I brake coming up to this turn. It comes up towards the car just like it does. There's the brakes. They're that hot that they're glowing red. They're in the wheels. And that was pretty much a better view because you have the sky background there and that's a lot of light so that you can see that airfoil actually up in full view and while I'm actually driving instead of watching the replay which is on the other video but I didn't have, the camera was charging at the moment that I uh, decided to make that other video slow. And the good thing is, ouch. that if you're backing up with the Xbox, you can hit, like, if you don't let off the trigger completely, you can still make the car go in reverse. But if you let off and then come back on it, that applies the brakes, so that helps. So we're going to do it again going this way. Three, two, one. Here we go. And you can't see the rims full throttle. Look, I'm not even touching the steering part. Uh, there goes the airfoil. As you can see, there's a little tiny other spoiler below it. And as I come down here, and I'm going to brake, you see it comes up that way. Jeez. I about hit the wall because I was, I was watching the camera, but I wasn't watching the uh, thing here. So, thing could gonna pop up. And if I had other people coming behind me to do that, this is where I would pull in and just stop and let the other people go. And then, I would come back out here. And here we go. like this so that you can see that airfoil pop up and as you can see the car is bouncing a little bit 
but you can see that little airfoil pointing up towards the other one under it. And here it comes, pop up, pop up, no, oh, don't hit the wall. Once again, <coughs> I'm watching the camera. Watching the camera. I gotta quit doing that. That's my that, that is the one problem that I have. And as you can see, this will pop back down at about 40 miles an hour. So there's a hundred mile an hour difference between how much it takes to bring the airfoil up and how much it takes to close it. Now once again I'm gonna drive out. And take a real close look under the main airfoil. There is a small, 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 it's hard, you can hardly see it, foil that comes out that way. There it is. A little piece coming out the back. And as you can see, the airfoil will go up. Stop before you hit the wall. And usually what you want to do is hit the brakes gently because if you skid your wheels you lock your car so the best thing is if you're going to turn or if you're turning at all do not slam on the brakes and make skid marks since I was just coming straight in like this I could slam them on and stop myself from damaging the Bugatti okay so my video is 11 minutes 40 seconds right now so I might do one more lap or I might do one down this way and the other one back or just this one. Now take a real good look under this spoiler. There, that piece that comes out towards the back of the car and behind the car, let me rewind here. And I, since this is in rewind mode, let me duck under the camera. It's this piece right here. This lip. Well, here. <coughs> it's this one piece. Now, what that does is when this airfoil piece comes up. My gosh, I can't keep my hand steady. When this airfoil piece comes up, this piece bolts out behind it. And what this does is this car is made for aerodynamics. The air. In the front of the car, if, if my assistant can please move the view to the front, there you go. The air here in the front of the car, if you turn, yeah, thank you, comes over the car here, and when this is not here, straight down and behind the car, gone. So the air would do this, and all the way back there behind the car. Now when this comes up, it reduces. Even though that the air can just travel smoothly over the car, it reduces the drag. I don't know. Well, yes, I do, but it reduces the drag and lets the air go through it. And since that's so thin, that's what does it. Because when it just goes over the solid metal, it goes on top of it and it beats down on it because air will get any place that even has the smallest crack. So with this, when this opens, it goes in here. <clears throat> and since it's in here, that's what this is for. Because it gets in here, and as you can see, there's vents here. This is where the exhaust is. It comes out here and down here. This helps release extra exhaust. And uh, this piece here, when the air goes into it, it generates like a turbine, sort of circular motion of air under in between these two pieces here. And what it does is when that spins, it shoots, it comes off this silver piece and back out behind it, creating a more powerful um, force of momentum behind the car. So I'm going to resume from here and hit the brakes. It goes down. I'm gonna pull over here. As always, Lizard Man 870. Subscribe, watch, comment, anything. As always, stay awesome, be a beast. 
Later.